United Kingdom, welcome uh, to you indeed. Uh, I just wonder before we come on to NATO matters, what are you telling them back home about what's going on in the British government and the future of Britain's relationship with Europe? Um, no, today um, I was quite struck how dynamic the events are in London. And you know, all, everybody used to that um, Ukraine is a very unpredictable country. But yesterday I assured my colleagues they so events can be very dynamic also in the United Kingdom. You going to miss uh, not having meetings with Boris Johnson? You know, I will miss Boris because he was a very good colleague and a real friend of Ukraine. And he was visiting us and he initiated a special conference on reforms on Ukraine last year. But we are looking forward to fruitful cooperation with Jeremy Hunt. Now, given the changes we were talking about there, the Trump administration arriving in America, does uh, Ukraine feel more under threat from President Putin, who, of course, Donald Trump will be seeing next week than, than previously? No, we are looking, of course, forward to, with interest and maybe some, some bit of anxiety to their future meeting. But, uh, you know, as long as they agreed approach, as Trump said to our president last year, that there would be no agreement on Ukraine without Ukraine. So if that uh, approach is in place, so we should not be worried. Because, you know, frankly speaking, if not to succumb to emotions, but till the, uh, since the very election of Mr. Trump, his deeds towards Ukraine were very positive one. So irrespectively of, of the statements. But meeting uh, President Putin, who's still occupying or has uh, troops occupying parts of uh, eastern Ukraine and, of course, has annexed Crimea, uh, that's inevitably going to be seen as an endorsement, isn't it? You know, I, I think if uh, President Trump would be establishing his dialogue with Mr. Putin from the position of strength, and if he will not be looking to some appeasement of Mr. Putin through mutual concessions, so I think that this dialogue can be a very constructive one, because Putin is really afraid of solidarity and international pressure. And if this is the case, I think everybody will gain in the end. What it really comes down to is if Russia decides to increase the pressure, either militarily or through energy supplies, on Ukraine, how confident are you that the West, in inverted commas, NATO, would actually come to your support? No, uh, I do remember the beginning of the Russian aggression when everybody was comparing the situation in Ukraine with Georgia. And everybody was telling me, like, you know, the Western countries will limit themselves only to expressing concerns. And that would be nothing out of it. But in fact, we still, for four years already, we have sanctions against Russia in connection with Crimea, in connection with the aggression on the East. We have a freeze freezing of uh, high political dialogue. And I know that at all international meetings, the Western leaders are keeping pressure on Mr. Putin about Crimea and the East. So I do hope that this policy will stay in place. At the same time, if uh, NATO leaders fall out, argue over money uh, at their summit this week, that, to a certain extent, will be a, a green light uh, to the Russians that there's maybe a bit of an opportunity there. No, I do understand this, uh, like, uh, internal problems and disputes also about the 2% of uh, GDP spending on military. But uh, at the same time, uh, I do hope that there would be no compromise on both issues. By the way, actually, we are not a NATO member state, but we are, we are spending 5% of our you, GDP you for military You wanted to be a NATO needs. member state, and NATO uh, sort of shut the door in, on you. You, in, you, still, you still aspire to be a member. Yes, but we are not looking for the immediate membership, it, because we do understand that this I could mean, be some, some years. Putin sees that as a provocation, doesn't he? Oh, for Putin, everything is a provocation. Uh, some years ago, he was uh, telling that if the Baltic states will be NATO member states, so he will retaliate, but nothing really happened. Okay, thank you very much indeed, Ambassador, for so joining much. us. Well, this is all our politics.